Hello everyone, my name is Harrison and I'm a final year dietetic student at the University of Plymouth. I recently completed a 12-week paediatric placement at the BRHC, which was an incredible journey of learning and growth. Before starting, I had minimal exposure to paediatrics during my university course, and I believe this was mainly due to time constraints. This limited exposure led me with feelings of anxiety and self-doubt of whether I could actually fulfil the competencies on past placement and, of course, do a good job. However, the experience turned out to be more rewarding than I could ever imagined, and I'd like to share with you how it went, what I learned, and some advice for your own placements. Going into the placement, I'll be honest, I was quite nervous. The transition from adult to paediatric dietetics felt quite daunting because of the differences in nutritional needs and care approaches that you may take. However, this feeling was relieved by the amazing team at the BRHC, providing us with insightful lectures during the first two weeks. This included core principles of paediatric dietetic care, such as faltering growth. These sessions were incredibly insightful and really prepared us for the nuances that you may witness in paediatric care. It was also important to learn from different members of the team um, and see how different ones how each of them approach clinical reasoning in their own unique way um, as this is a really important part of placement is learning how you like dietetically practice individually and not necessarily doing what someone else does but kind of taking bits from each dietitian and as long as you've got that clinical reasoning there taking your own individual spin on it I think is a really important thing. One of the biggest challenges I faced was understanding how to translate my existing knowledge and skills to in the paediatric setting. See my B placement was adult and in the community so I kind of felt a double burden going into an inpatient paediatric setting. I was overwhelmed with the new information on the ward, such as growth charts and infant formulas. However, after some reflective conversations with my supervisors, I realised that the core principles of the NDCP remained exactly the same. It was about tailoring those principles to meet the specific needs of the children. This realisation was a game changer and it boosted my confidence significantly. And I think this is a thing that you can take on whether you're going on to a different ward or speciality paediatrics or adults that core NDCP is a really good tool to have and if you can get that right you can be a really good dietitian and then obviously there was a lot of exciting moments I think overall working with young patients was both fun and exciting the paediatric environment had a unique energy and a strong sense of kind of that camaraderie there's a real siege mentality within the MDT where everyone was working closely towards the common goal of improving their patient outcomes I felt like a really valued part of this team and this really helped to improve my confidence within the MDT. It was always fulfilling when you were implementing a successful nutritional plan that resulted in positive outcomes for the patient and their family. Witnessing these positive changes firsthand was incredibly rewarding and reaffirmed my passion for dietetics and enticed me into the paediatric world. When thinking about useful tools and resources, there were several that were really beneficial to me during my placement, but I'll just go over a few of them. Firstly was the GOSH booklet of requirements. Now you will most likely be given this by you're on your placement, but it's a really good thing to have, and it's got all the requirements for energy, protein, fluid, and everything else that you may need, all in a tiny booklet. And honestly, that is a lifesaver. Having that on the wards is amazing. And you've got to make sure you don't lose it because that is your life while you're on placement. And it really helped me. The Dietitian's Pocket Guide to Paediatric Dietetics is a really good thing to have on you as it's got common day to day clinical questions that you may have, such as constipation and things like that. And it's just a really good reference to have there whilst you're on the ward. And if any questions may come up from patients, you could have that in your back pocket and just think, I'm going to go out a second. You can take a look at that and then go back in. And yeah, that's a really good thing to have. And also the BDA Paediatric Subgroup. If you're subscribed to the BDA, is a really good thing to have. Joining this subgroup gave me access to the wealth of information and resources which were specific to paediatric care. Um, and that's a really good thing to do um, going forward if you're going to go into the paediatric setting as well. And also case studies. Um, I would often ask my supervisors to create case studies if I found something difficult during the day um, so I could go away and practice it almost. Um, for example, I could one day I just could not get my head around my head around concentrating feeds um, to increase the energy density of them. And so what I did, I went to my supervisor and I said, I'm sorry, I know you're really busy, but it's okay if you create a few case studies for me that I can do during my study time and I can kind of go over them and see if I can get any better than it. And then I went through them got through them and then went through them with my supervisor the next day and bang I was never had a problem with concentrating fees thereon um, and I think those are that's a really important thing to do during your study time and it's a really valuable thing to do and finally it's just that hands-on experience there's absolutely no substitute for that practical experience that you're going to gain on the wards 
whether that be shadowing or actually doing. Um, I think one kind of common thing that I use in my reflections is the Gibbs learning by doing model. I think you learn most when you're doing something and you're going to make mistakes. I've made mistakes as a student. You're going to make mistakes, but that's when you learn. And if you just embrace yourself within the paediatric setting, I promise you, you'll go so much further than if you kind of sit back and kind of not get involved you'll make so much more progress if you're doing things day to day and finally i've just got a bit of advice for future students who are going on to pediatric placements um, the first one is just to believe in yourself remember you've learned all the fundamental skills needed to be successful dietitian and just now you just need to adapt them into the pediatric context and like trust me just believe in yourself and you will be okay embrace that mdt working the multidisciplinary team is a really good great support system within the pediatric setting Everyone's been where you are now, so don't hesitate to ask them questions and seek advice as they will always be there to help you. And finally, just be inquisitive. As a student, your role is to learn. You don't need to know everything yet, but lose your time to ask those questions and deepen your understanding. Be curious and just ask those questions and take every opportunity that you can as a student because it goes very quickly, I can promise you that. And just to conclude, as I mentioned earlier, I was initially really apprehensive about paediatrics because I knew it was an unknown territory territory for me. I was apprehensive about, to be honest, whether I was going to enjoy it and whether I was going to be good at it. But by the end of those 12 weeks, I felt like I found my call in. I felt like I found the perfect role for me as a band five dietitian. The experience turned out to be incredibly enriching and I learned a lot and I grew professionally and personally. And I felt like I almost had that rounded approach now where I'd learned dietetically I'd look cared after adults and children and I could bring this together and come out as kind of a universal dietitian I felt like I could take on anything which is a really good thing to have as a further positive just to add that cherry on the top to my pediatric placement I've managed to secure a band 5 role at the BRHC once I gave my registration which I am over the moon about and I could not imagine it before those 12 weeks but now I'm just so happy I've got that role so just embrace yourself in it and you never know where you may end up. So go into your placement with an open mind and that willingness to learn. Trust in your skills, embrace the journey and you'll do great, I promise you. Thank you and very best of luck in your placements.